Manamana. Pampanana. Manamana. Pampanata. Manamana. Pampanana. Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Zeno Damus. I'm here with Q. And we have Blood Axe in our chat room moderating. Moderating his ass off. Well, I wouldn't call this next story a uh, felling upward. Well, no, know. this is a case of somebody slapping him down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So King's, uh, King Spawn, number one, sells nearly 500,000 copies. Now, this is as a pre-release, um, which puts it up there with some of the biggest names in Marvel and years, DC. According to it. They said one of the um, biggest releases in 25 years. So, I mean, Image Comics... Uh, Sort of fighting, uh, fighting the fight. I mean, that's pretty impressive back. because Image is well, Image is not a small company. It's never been on that Marvel DC level, so being competitive yeah. in this current market is not bad. And that's awesome. I mean, I'm interested in it. Now I mean, it does have a big name behind it with with Todd McFarlane. By the way, I still uh, want behind. Battle Chasers, Todd. <laughs> I own the first few, but I need you to finish the damn series, Todd. Sorry, me and Todd, he, he know what I'm talking about. We've been talking about this for years, Todd. You know, I went to your, one of your websites. I was messaging you about this. We're still cool, though, but I won't the rest of Battle Chasers. It was really good. Anyway. Uh, but, but, yeah, uh, so while, while, while we see a lot of uh, comics crashing uh, in the current, and, well, and there are there are some 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 that are still doing well out there, but we see a lot of them crashing. So anytime you I mean, see... They say it's the largest monthly title yeah. release of 25 years. So anytime you see a new one jumping in to the, to the game, you know... Um, well, remember, Berserk did really well. I mean, it sells. it's almost like if you try to write a good comic without some secret agenda, you actually can do well. Well, crazy? I mean, it seems like the darker comics are still is very darker, popular. Right? Um, well, I mean, several of the comics that have recently come out that have done well on Kickstarter, stuff like that, have all been a lot of your grittier, more adult themed comics. Um, because they're they're reaching out to an audience they know they already have. They're reaching out to a fan base that's already out there for a lot of those, and um, not trying to do a lot of this weird stuff. It's going to be hard, no matter you know, to to bring comics to different generations. Like, and not for them, <laughs> they seem to be knocking it out the park. Well, I'm not, I'm not. I don't think they're bringing it to a different generation, though. I think they're bringing it to the generation. Where they're guaranteed sales. I think you could pick up new though. Something uh, that, darker. Like I'm not going to say appeal. that there aren't any new that are picking it up, but I bet you 90 percent of that is a market that's that's been out there waiting for it. Yeah, I give you that. But I mean, it's just great to see a comic book doing well. It's great to see an older comic book character that hasn't <laughs> gotten a really weirdo reboot. They haven't decided that Al Simmons actually was like yeah. you know. Something weird, we'll just say like that. They haven't effed with his main story or character. He hasn't been replaced with Fem Spawn. You know, yeah. like he's actually still untouched. Because if you compare it to DC and Marvel, what's the difference between this and DC and Marvel's main characters lately? They keep doing weird yeah. crap to their characters. Just as Guy mentions, the Suicide Squad was great, which sort of goes along with that darker theme as well. Um, I've. I've I think he means queen. Uh, he says my comic book qu- queen queef man. No, queef man? That's queef. Is it queef man? I don't. I I, I have I, no I, comment on what was, he means by queef man. That is. Uh, I don't. Yeah, that's disturbing. Yeah, so anyway, All right, so uh, uh, let me get about, out. So about me, com- but like Spawn queef, is still okay, it is queef pretty man. clear. All right, I'm not. Yeah, uh, I I did. I, it's what I read it. Not, as, I'm so. not familiar with that one, <laughs> but um. But either way, uh, a little bit of a success story. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a success story. An old school, well respected comic book character has a successful series come out that's quite popular, already selling well, and they didn't do anything weird to it yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, a rarity. Let's hope it stays that way and they don't let any uh, oddballs get in the room and start writing nonsense into it. But Todd, I don't think he'll go for that. Todd's yeah. always been pretty stubborn about doing things his own way. 
like not continuing battle chasers. Todd, get on it. But uh, at least in this case, the stubbornness works in our favor. He'll probably tell them to go F themselves if they told him to gender swap spawn. 